Soft six. Niall Horan. Niall Horan got his real estate portfolio started a bit later than his previous One Direction bandmates, but he still purchased his first million dollar property at the young age of 18. Currently, the singer has two beautiful homes, one in his native country of Ireland and one in Hollywood. Niall hasn't seemed to move around too much compared to some celebrities, but his places are gorgeous, so I don't blame him. One of his mansions sits on 10 acres of land, and the other is rumored to be haunted. If you've ever wondered where Niall Horan calls home today, we're gonna give you all the details. Niall Horn is a singer and songwriter who kickstarted his road to fame in the boy band One Direction, as you all probably know. Although some would say Harry Styles found the most success after they disbanded, Niall has been having a pretty good solo career too. He was actually the 1D member I crushed on most. At the time of this recording, Niall is 26 years old. Even though he was featured on the British X Factor, he hails from Mullingar, Ireland, and actually still has a place there to this day. Seems like a lot of these artists from like England and Ireland stay true to their roots when they make it big. Like his ex-bandmate Harry and even Ed Sheeran did the same. After One Direction went on hiatus in 2016, Niall got a solo recording contract with Capitol Records. Singles he released like This Town and Slow Hands made it to the top 20 in a handful of countries, while his solo album Flickr came out at number 1 in Ireland and the US. My personal fave out of his solo songs has gotta be too much to ask. How about you guys? Anyways, Niall's estimated net worth is at around 70 mil. Not too shabby, and in comparison to his 1D bandmates, he falls right in the middle of the list. Him and Lewis Tomlinson are tied and just behind Mr. Harry Styles, who has the highest reported net worth of the five. Looking at Niall's homes today, you'll be able to see what he spends some of that bank on. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at Niall Horan's current homes, including his Ireland mansion, haunted LA house, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Harry Styles and Ed Sheeran, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I recently tried something new since hitting 100k subscribers. Thank you guys again, by the way. But we did a little Q&A video and I'd love to do more content like that. So if you're interested in getting to know each other better and seeing more videos like that, show some support and be sure to let me know. I've also been reading your comments and as usual, I'm gonna respond to some at the end of this. Let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First off, we'll check out Niall's childhood home. He was born and raised in Mullingar, Ireland. Mullingar is the county town of Westmeath and according to Wikipedia, it's the third most populated town in the Midland region. He must have liked growing up here considering he bought a massive property in his hometown. Niall first lived with his parents, Bobby and Mora, and his older brother, Greg. However, his parents divorced when he was only five years old. From there, the boys lived with their mom and a year later moved in with their dad. We can see the home that Niall grew up in when they lived with his father as his dad and brother even posed in front of the home to take a photo. Niall's childhood home was a humble semi-detached house that was apparently tiny. Sources say at the time it was worth under 100k. Pretty crazy. It's reported that the first piece of real estate Niall Horn invested in was in Hertfordshire, England, which is located in southern England. He spent almost 2 million on this home and bought it in 2012. Niall was often spotted in the area by fans, more specifically the neighborhood of Brooklyn's Park where this house was located. There aren't too many photos out there of this place and we don't know many details about it, but he enjoyed it for a few years before upgrading. In fact, Niall rented this home out to an English TV star, Sam Fayers, in 2017. She actually admitted having a crush on him at one point, so I guess she likes staying in his old room. Niall may still own this place since there's no record of him putting it on the market. Let's take a look at Niall's fancy spot in LA. Most celebrities like to buy up some property in Hollywood or close by once they've made it. This way they're close to the action and obviously their other famous friends. In 2016, Niall put down $4 million for a gorgeous home in the Hollywood Hills. His LA house is located off of Laurel Canyon and Mulholland Drive, a street that's actually been dubbed Celebrity Row. This multi-million dollar home was built back in 1940 and the famous architect Frank Gehry is responsible for all of the renovations, which were done in his style. Frank has become a household name and won plenty of awards for his work. He's actually born in Canada, just like me. Some of his most iconic buildings include the Guggenheim Museum, the Walt Disney Concert Hall in LA, the Olympic Fish Pavilion in Barcelona, 
Dancing House in Prague, and a long list of many more. I guess we can add Niles House to the list too. Niles Hollywood Hills Pad is 4,412 square feet of living space with 5 beds and 6 baths. This house is a combination of traditional and modern style and has features like high glass walls and a spacious floor plan. The interior of the home offers vaulted ceilings in the sunken living room and beam ceilings in the upstairs family room. There are two family rooms in this home, one located on the second floor, an open concept top of the line kitchen and a dining room that opens right up to the pool and the deck, thanks to multiple French doors. We know Niall likes to keep an organized and fully stocked fridge, so his top of the line one at this house comes in handy, I'm sure. There's also a cozy office and two separate staff entrances, useful for amazing caterers. Two staircases in the home lead up to the second floor, where you'll find Niall's master wing. The luxury master wing has a private balcony, massive rooftop deck, large private bathroom, and a lavish dressing area and walk-in closet. The rest of the guest bedrooms also have their own ensuite bathrooms, and three of these rooms surround the upstairs living space. Moving outside of Niall's home, the estate is fully fenced in and private, and the grounds are lush with beautiful landscaping all around. Not to mention there's a large crystal blue pool and spa in the yard, which takes up a good amount of space. And I didn't forget to mention there are rumors of Niall's Hollywood home being haunted. Reports appearing online from previous owners talking about their experience. Apparently Niall's mansion was once owned by the Hollywood actress Gia Scala, whose body was found on the property after she died from mysterious circumstances in 1972. Although reports said it was an overdose, there was evidence that made it seem like someone else was to blame. Either way, previous resident Jack Crane revealed in an interview about the home. I always asked if someone died in one of these houses and my parents said no. I have always felt something strange, that house is haunted for sure. I've had a few ghost stories over there, it's creepy. Now I just wonder if Niall has met the ghost yet. When Niall isn't spending time in his Hollywood Hills pad, he also has a gorgeous mansion in his hometown of Mullinger, Ireland. In 2017, Niall put down some roots in the town he grew up in, in Westmeath, and where his mother, father and brother still call home. Prior to buying this mansion, Niall said, I go home a couple of times a year. It gets kind of hectic around the house. I miss Ireland. I'd like to go there a lot more. So I guess finally buying his own place was his solution. The reports online about Niall's Mullinger mansion vary in terms of how much he spent, but the place was listed for almost 2 mil originally. Some say that the price was lowered and Niall got a deal, but the price of the house didn't include all of the surrounding land Niall bought as well. Niall also invested in a massive 10 acres of land surrounding his mansion, which gives him a ton of privacy I'm sure. The home is hidden behind iron gates, but Niall also planned to add more security features to the property, which I'm sure he's done by now. Inside Niall's mansion, you're greeted by a double staircase to take you upstairs. There are six bedrooms and plenty of bathrooms in this house. Not to mention there are six separate living rooms and an additional games room. Looking at the listing photos, it seems some of the rooms in the home are a bit outdated and my guess is that Niall did a bit of redesigning after buying this mansion. I'd love to see the inside since he settled in. Outside of Niall's house on his expansive estate, you'll also find the heated outdoor swimming pool. Perfect since the weather in Ireland isn't as hot as Los Angeles. And an additional pool house. I think it's pretty cool that he got a place where his family is and where he grew up as a kid. Not only is family close enough to his new mansion, the house is also close to Mullinger Golf Club, which is a match made in heaven considering Niall loves to golf. So now we've taken a look at Niall Horan's properties, including his Hollywood Hills house that's rumored to be haunted, and his mansion in his hometown of Mullinger, Ireland. Although a couple of years ago, some online tabloids said that Niall might have some dangerous spending habits, like using up a couple million per year on lifestyle and business ventures, including a golf management company, it seems like he's pretty smart with his money. The price tags on his homes are quite modest compared to some celebrities, and he doesn't move around all the time. If his net worth is what they say it is, around 70 million, I don't think Niall has anything to worry about. What do you guys think about Niall's homes in LA and Ireland? I personally like them both. It's nice that he chose a property in his homeland to be closer to family, and his LA house is gorgeous but also not over the top. Okay guys, now I'll read out some of your comments from previous videos. If you want me to mention yours next time, leave me something nice and I just might. On our recent Britney Spears house tour, Zan Palero said, Thank you for bringing us home tours. I don't really wonder how celebs are living, however it's kind of fun to see and you do a great job. Thanks so much, I have fun doing my research too. Even though I don't live in a mansion, it's nice looking at others. Dante Jackson commented on our Amber Rose house tour saying, Hey, new subscriber, can you do a Zendaya house tour, Lizzo house tour, and Normani house tour? Well, welcome new subscriber, I'll add those to my list. 
I was thinking of doing Zendaya soon. If you guys want to see that, let me know. On our Ed Sheeran house tour, Manukin said, I love you. Keep up doing your stuffs, girl. Well, we love you too. And one more from our Johnny Depp house tour, Jackie Briere wrote, He's been in some of the greatest films in Hollywood. I love Johnny Depp. Me too, Jackie. Me too. He's a legend. All right, guys, that's all I could dig up on Niall Horan's homes in Hollywood and Mullinger, Ireland. Did you guys like his houses? Which was your fave? What did you like best about them? Like I said, I think they're both gorgeous, but I like Niall's Hollywood home best. Especially since it was redesigned by such a famed architect. Not to mention the fact that it might be haunted, I think is kind of cool. Am I the only weirdo who thinks that gives a home some history? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye!